Guys for being here, and just a super uh, opportunity. Let me tell you, all of you seniors sitting in the room in 2009, obviously I didn't know who you were, but that was my freshman year at Deerfield High School. So I'm going to say that I'm a senior as well, and I want to tell you, I met a freshman in 2009. It wasn't this big at the time. All right, he, this guy walks into my office, and he says, hi, I'm Jake Parento, and kind of that squeaky little mousy voice you have when you're a freshman. And I said, what can I do for you? Well, I was kind of thinking, you know, um, I like to announce, I'm thinking about broadcast journalism, and I'm like, are you kidding? You're a freshman. How do you know this already? Anyway, he says, I was thinking, do you think I could maybe announce some games? Yeah, I'm thinking, okay, I think we already have an announcer, but I'll see what I can do about it. He said, well, I'm really thinking about the back 40, like where all the questions are. And I said, Jake, we don't have the sound system back there. At least not that I'm aware of. You know, barely have a field. Well, we barely have a field. I'll, I'll take that. I hope you walk out there in the spring because we'll have five. Anyway, all right, let me finish talking about Jake because I know time is short here. At any rate, we put this guy on the back 40 with a wireless mic, a headset that worked probably part of the time. Uh, we got him a tent so it kind of looked official back there. Uh, one speaker, one wireless scoreboard. Next thing you know, we're hearing about the weather all over the country. Uh, we get all kinds of trivia everywhere. And I remember playing Carmel that particular uh, year. And of course they brought their 127 freshmen back there. But I can, I can tell you five or six of those parents stopped and said, whoever that kid is, he's awesome. And I was like, yeah, you're right, he, he does sound pretty cool. I, I knew nothing about the trivia, I knew no answers anyway. So long story short, he says, well, what do you think about next year? And I said, well, maybe next year you could do some sophomore games because you're gonna play in the stadium. So we'll give you a shot at a little bit of the bigger time. Let me fast forward, people. Jake did every varsity game in the stadium this year on Friday night. He's done most of the soccer games out there. He did a lot of lacrosse games, and I can tell you he's going to continue to do those games out there for as long as we can. Fast forward in the wintertime when he's not bowling strikes, we hope, uh, you're going to see him on the mic and, uh, doing varsity basketball for boys and girls as well. He's done such a great job for us. Uh, at the end of his sophomore year, I said, Jake, we've got to do something else. We've got to create, a, we've got to create an, another opportunity for more kids to do this. And as Coach alluded to earlier, as of this year, we have 27 kids who are signed up for our sports information program that was all started by one freshman kid. Who walked out. Everyone else in that program calls him the Godfather. Just so you know. It's a, a fantastic uh, way that they they like to consider him as having started this. Anyway, Jay Parento, everyone. Thank you.